You might say Indian has taken a right turn with its FTR lineup. That is away from its left turning flat track routes to make the street bike more street oriented. Indian has introduced four versions of what it calls the 2022 FTR, though it will be available in dealerships this spring. Three of those four models will roll on 17-inch sport tires, with a lower seat and handlebar nudging them firmly into the performance standard territory that some call sport nakeds. The fourth model will continue to be the FTR Rally, rolling on 18-inch rear and 19-inch front tires that allude to the Indian FTR 750 race bike that has dominated the American flat track series the last few years. Some might not agree with this comparison, but it almost feels to me that at the same time Harley-Davidson has put on hold its plans to build the Bronx Street Fighter, Indian has gone ahead and made three of them. So let's take a look at the three new versions of the FTR 1200. The 2022 FTR models get some shared improvements in the engine bay. Indian says the 1,203 cc liquid-cooled V-twin has been retuned to improve cold starting performance and better throttle response. When Spurgeon reviewed the 2019 Indian FTR 1200S, one of his few complaints was the throttle response, so if Indian has made further improvements for the 2022 model, that issue will likely be history. While the Olin's suspension only comes standard on the FTRR carbon, the radially mounted Brembo brake calipers are fitted to all three new FTR models. All three new versions, including the base model, now have suspension that's fully adjustable both front and rear. Suspension travel at both ends is reduced from 150mm to 120mm. Combined with the 17-inch cast aluminum wheels that reduces seat height by 1.4 inches. Those wheels by the way, wear Metzeler Sportec tires in common sport sizes of 180 rear and 120 front, giving owners lots of choices. The ProTaper handlebar on the new models is 2 inches lower and 1.5 inches narrower. Interestingly, Indian rates all four 2022 FTR models at 120 horsepower and 87 foot-pounds of torque, which is 3 horsepower less than they claimed for the previous model but the same peak torque. The FTRs also get rear cylinder deactivation at idle to reduce the amount of heat roasting the rider's thigh while stopped in city traffic. The TFT dash differentiates the S and R carbon models from the base model and the FTR rally. Indian motorcycle photo. Beyond that, here are the differences between the three new FTR models. The FTR base model comes in basic black but still gets some performance upgrades for the 2022 model year, such as adjustable suspension and the revisions to the engine. Starting price on the base FTR is $12,999 and it comes in black smoke color with red touches from the Indian script on the tank to the pinstripes on the wheels and the rear shock spring. The most visible difference is the analog gauge. Functionally, while it still has ABS and cruise control, it lacks any other electronic rider aids. Maroon Metallic is one of the two color options on the FTRS model. Stepping up to the FTRS gets the configurable 4.3-inch touchscreen display with phone integration via either Bluetooth or USB.
The S offers three ride modes, wheelie control, stability control, traction control and cornering ABS. It comes with an Akrapovic exhaust, both maroon metallic and white smoke paint options and starts at $14,999. The top of the FTR line, the limited edition 2022 Indian FTR R Carbon. Which comes with all the features of the S Plus carbon fiber parts, such as the tank cover, front fender and headlight nacelle. The carbon gets Oland suspension front and rear, an upgraded Akrapovic exhaust and numbered badging. The price starts at $16,999. What do you think about Indian FTR models? Kindly leave your thoughts on comment below.